Welcome to Leeds Teaching Hospitals. We're one of the largest trusts in the entire country with over 17,000 staff and just under 2,000 beds. Scan for Safety represents a fantastic opportunity for Leeds Teaching Hospitals to be at the forefront of improving the quality of management of our patients throughout the trust. We now have all of our adult inpatients and all adults attending both of our a &E departments supplied with a GS1 compatible wristband which allows our Scan for Safety technology to scan these patients to any one of 22,000 locations throughout our trust. This in the future will allow us to track these patients 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. This will allow live updating of bed availability in the theatre environment. Using again this technology, we can ensure that products, hip replacements, knee replacements, many others, can be assigned to that patient's electronic patient record. 27 by 12. So that in the event of any product recall in the future, we can rapidly locate those patients, rapidly locate which products have been used, which products are still on the shelf, so we can perform a very efficient and very rapid safety recall. For all of our surgeons, interventional cardiologists and radiologists, we need to ensure that they have the correct consumables available at any one time. But that does not mean duplicated stocks and some of that stock going out of date because of non-use. Using Scan for Safety barcode technology, we can ensure that they have the correct stock, that we maintain that stock within date at all times, and we can control stock across multiple different locations across the trust. And in the case of very expensive items, using other technologies such as RFID to automatically reorder those items of stock back onto the shelf. This should allow much greater resilience and also much greater reassurance for all of our staff that we have the right product in the right place for the patient every time. Scan for Safety has brought a significant number of benefits to Leeds Teaching Hospitals in procurement and commercial. The first of which is really allowing the organisation to understand what stock's in the right place at the right time. The second thing is really about releasing clinical time from the supply chain activities. The other element that really has benefited the organisation is the quality of the data around the product. So the global trade identification number, the barcode on the product is unique. So when we send that information from the hospital back to the supplier, they know exactly what we require. There's no interpretation of those items. It's clean data going from the hospital to the supplier, which really is a language for allowing us to trade with our suppliers machine to machine so when we scan the item out using the barcode, the data is transferred to the supplier. We now have a comprehensive catalogue of all the items that we now manage through informal inventory. We have about 110,000 GTINs, trade identification numbers, on the products that allow us to really understand, again, what we're using and where we're using those, those products. At point of care, the physical product is scanned, as well as the patient wristband and the consultant and location, which gives us an overview of the patient's record, as well as what has happened in the case, what products have been used. As well as that, we can also identify what's faulty or damaged, which can be rectified at a later date. First, we had to, we had to assess every single uh, item in theatres, uh, whether or not they are appropriate for inventory management, whether or not they're implantable or not. Then we had to gather all the GTINs for every single item um, and we currently have 5,500 uh, different items in uh, Chapel Island Theatres. The greatest part in working for this Scan Safety project is knowing that um, my contribution and my staff's contribution is uh, directly affecting patient safety. Having the ability to scan the patient's wristband at the bedside and open the electronic health record facilitates clinical teams to interact and document care at the point of delivery. Scan for Safety has truly enabled our clinical teams to connect patient to location, staff to patients. It helps transform the way clinical teams evidence the care that's being delivered and it improves patient safety. One of the bigger benefits for Scan for Safety has been the reduction in waste that we've seen. Previously staff have never been exposed to the cost of each individual item. Now at the point of scanning they have that information in front of them and there's been a change in culture 
we've perhaps been a little bit more hesitant when we're opening the kit ahead of time rather than just waiting now until the exact moment of which it's needed. In previous years, stock take always takes place as the theatres are actively running. The benefit of power gear and scan for safety working alongside each other means that actually around stock take time there's less physical kit that needs to be counted, therefore reducing the amount of interruptions to our working day. The benefit for part of scan for safety, not only do we have recording detail of implants to patient, we have also noticed that there's been a, a large reduction in wastage at the areas that we've implemented this system. So not only is this helping clinicians not have to worry about having stock that's gone out of date on the shelves, but it's also a financial benefit to the trust. Basically using the data we're capturing at point of care to build reports such as this to give us the information accurately and quickly. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is work our way through the field safety notice uh, and identify whether the serial number has been implanted into a patient or is still in the theatre store in a bin location. So the first thing we're going to do is check whether it's actually still in the store and we have the option to use a patch number or a serial number. This is because the manufacturer might not be using a serial number just yet and this option provides that ease of access. So if we work off the first serial number There's no result, therefore the product is not in the bin location uh, and we can move on to see whether it's been implanted into a patient. So the next step is to click on the implanted button. Here we have a third option which is the NHS number, which we can use but we won't be using on this case. Let's put the serial number in there again. And there we go, the data we've been collecting at point of care has um, being combined together shows that it has been used in ophthalmology theatres. This is the record number within the system itself, as well as the date the case was carried out on, the patient identifier, which would be the NHS number, the consultant identifier right there, the unique product identifier within the system, a description of the product that we are searching for, as well as the serial number. We can then use this information and pass it on to the clinical leads so that the patient can be brought back into the trust um, and the implantable device can be removed. The procurement team, when they receive a safety alert, can then initiate a chain of events through our inventory team, our scan for safety team, and or our theatre team. And this allows the almost instant recall of those products from our shelves to prevent further use. And it also defines an accurate clinical list of any patient that has received that product. So our clinical teams can then start arranging for recall and advice and further management of those specific patients. With Scan for Safety, we've been scanning the patient on admission to the department and then when they move through the hospital, scanning them into those subsequent areas such as breast imaging and nuclear medicine. When they go to theatre to have their operation, we'll scan them into that theatre and then into the recovery department. This gives us an accurate timeline of where a patient is during their admission, which allows us to safely tell relatives or other medical professionals when they contact the ward where a patient is. The patients feel safer knowing that their relatives are being given their accurate information regarding how their surgical procedure is going and the staff feel reassured knowing that they're giving the correct information. Other safety benefits to the patient mean that when we scan their wristband we can immediately pull up their electronic notes. This means that we can get to their e-meds documents, their e-obs chart and to other nursing forms which are being built digitally. This is all in aid to go paperless. All of this means that when we scan a patient's wristband, we pull up these documents so we know we're dealing with the right patient at the right time. Hello, my name is Julian Hartley, Chief Executive of Leeds Teaching Hospitals, and I'm here to talk about Scan for Safety, which is an incredibly exciting initiative here at Leeds Teaching Hospitals, which is transforming the way that we're able to deal with patient safety issues and revolutionise the supply chain. Here in these teaching hospitals we have a vision to be the best for specialist and integrated care. And integrated care is all about how we join up care for patients and ensure that at every step of the way we're clear about where our patients are, what consumables and equipment and devices we are using and how we're able to track those. In summary, great for patient safety, great for efficiency and quality, 
and adding a significant value to the patient and enabling us here in Leeds Teaching Hospitals to realising our vision to be the best for specialist and integrated care.